Elon Smart Water Basic Troubleshooting Guide. Hello and welcome to our detailed Elon Smart Troubleshooting Training video. Today we're going to walk you through the essential troubleshooting steps for the Elon Smart Hot Water System. This video aims to equip you with the necessary knowledge to diagnose and fix problems efficiently, ensuring that the Elon Smart Hot Water System runs smoothly and safely. First, we'll start with basic troubleshooting steps that users can carry out themselves. You can find a basic troubleshooting guide for users, as well as a troubleshooting guide for electricians on the Power Optimal website. How this guide works is that you select the issue that you're experiencing at the top in blue. You then follow the steps indicated by the blue arrows until you reach a red or green final step. For example, if your water temperature is too high, you can reduce the thermostat setting in the Elon Smart app. If the water is still too hot a day later, then please contact our help chat. Otherwise, the issue is hopefully resolved. Now we move on to the basic troubleshooting guide for electricians. Upon powering up the unit, a self-test initiates, lasting about 30 seconds. Successful completion is confirmed by a clicking sound. Indicating the unit is engaging the appropriate power source. This will be either grid or solar, based on the water's temperature relative to the set point. It's crucial that both earth wires are connected to the earth stud. Failure to do so results in a failed self-test, and the unit will not start the heating process. If you're facing issues, start with the Elon Smart app. Access the configuration screen and review any alarms. If you can't access the device from the app, ensure that both the DC and the AC switch disconnectors are closed. If issues persist, visually inspect the wiring and use a voltage meter to check the DC and AC voltages. Check that the DC polarity is not reversed. To activate solar power to the element, select the solar only heating policy on the configuration screen. To use mains power, select grid only. We've covered everything from initial checks, identifying faults, switching power sources and hands-on troubleshooting steps. These guidelines will help ensure your unit operates correctly and safely. Thank you for watching. If you follow the steps in this video, you should be able to resolve the issue. If not, please contact the Power Optimal technical team at the contact details provided on our website. For more detailed guides and further learning, refer to our additional resources or follow-up these available on our website.